Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. I would like to start things off by saying happy 30th birthday to Death Screen Bloody Gore, the original combat release was today 30 years ago. That's awesome. Hails to Chuck and Chris for creating such a memorable and amazing record 30 years later. Still holds up to the sands of time and death metal history. Fucking A. And today, speaking of death metal, we are listening to Ascended Dead's new album, Abhorrent Manifestation. This is so fucking good. If you're a fan of Grave Miasma, Dead Congregation, uh, Dead Congregation, Lucifer, you are going to eat this the fuck up. Brutal, killer, awesome, fucking death metal the way it's meant to sound. And speaking again of death metal, we are going to dig into some Philadelphia filth right here in Trench Rot. Hell fucking yeah, total bolt thrower worship, and this is Necronomic Warfare. Holy fucking shit. This features the mighty Brooks Wilson from Crip Sermon and Unrest, who also I think might be the most talented person in the Philadelphia underground metal scene. He not only did this artwork, but he also not only played lead and rhythm guitars, but for the purposes of this recording, the bass was also performed by Brooks. I like this Chris Moyen looking Satan. Very, very cool stuff. And when the whole entire, you know, subject of your band is war and death, you have so much to fucking work with. I'm pretty sure that this is, yeah, the clear vinyl, and there's some more awesome artwork. Just of this cool skeleton on the inside. I don't feel like taking it all the way out. But uh, this is a release on Mi Seco An Unjo. I could have swore there was also an Unspeakable Axe release of this, which is a sub label of Dark Descent but also a release by um, Subtrocity. So uh, yeah, and this is uh, written and recorded in 2013. Just look at this fucking artwork. Like, I don't know why Brooks isn't like doing every metal band's like art Alongside the lurker, the lurking devourer, like I love Brooks's artwork, and I love these fucking lyrics and Steve Jansen's vocals. Holy shit! It does not say who wrote these lyrics, but I'm guessing they were written by Brooks because he just seems to—he's so fucking talented, that dude. Like. But, like, when you're in a band that, you know, goes off of the bolt thrower formula, just, you better be doing it right, and Trench Rot fucking kill it! From their Drag Down to Hell demo to the fucking full length, and then their four-way split, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, I'm sorry, but I know that they did a cover of Death's Evil Dead, so this does tie into the 30th anniversary of Scream Bloody Gore, so that's fucking awesome. But, yeah, if you're a fan of Bolt Thrower, Hail of Bullets, you know, shit like that, you are going to fucking love Trench Rock. It's, it's just so fucking good. Every track on here. And the fact that you don't really hear about this that much kind of bums me out because this is some serious fucking shit. This is an awesome death metal album in every way. Like, the production's great, the vocals are great, the lyrics are amazing. 
And like I said, when you have kind of a topic to work with, like coming from a death, I, I was in a death metal band. When you when you kind of you don't want to pigeon your whole into a subject that doesn't have too much to really go off of. You want to be able to expand your horizons and whatnot. And that's what's so awesome about the OG war metal, which fucking bolt thrower. And uh, here we, on Death by Trench Rod, I'll read just some lyrics. Faster than a jet fighter. <laughs> Faster than a jet. For, why am I stuttering? Faster than a jet fighter, louder than a bomb. Death metal rings in your skull, a storm without the calm. Slower than a steamroller, crushing bones to dust. The madness overcomes you, it makes your brain combust. We only bow to the elder gods, we swill our beer like water. Through posers, we clear a path and lead the lambs to slaughter. Oh, so fucking good. Trench rot will take control of your body and your brain. The sound of real death metal driving you insane. Rot! Blood will gush from your eyes, your body black and blue. Corpses wrapped in barbed wire remain where we in the, when we are through. Death metal crushes you, trapped under threads. Dragged down to hell, your corpse displayed in the gallery of the dead. We only bow to the elder gods, we swill our beer like water. Through posers now we clear our path and lead the lambs to slaughter. Trench rot will take control of your brain and the sound of real death metal driving you insane. Rot. Death by trench rot. An evil force. The false are crushed in our path. We show them no remorse. Death by trench rot. There's no way you'll escape. Death metal overtakes you. Your soul shall be raped. Fucking A. That's death metal lyrics. Tongue in cheek, but also fucking brutal. And the whole record's like this. Probably one of my favorite tracks on here is, um... The most unspeakable of acts. It's holy fucking shit. Some of the riffs on there are just like you're just wide open. Like what the fuck? Like this is so goddamn good. Maddening aggression as well is just another killer track. Chemicals flood into their brains. A wretched hatred drives them insane. Behind their eyes and emptiness will spread the most maddening aggression beyond all dread. Like, just, I can't recommend this enough. And not just because they're one of Philadelphia's best underground death metal bands. It's, it's so fucking good. Like, I, I want you guys to have this album in your hands. And uh, you have Steve Jansen. Steve Jansen on lead, rhythm, guitars, and vocals, and awesome fucking vocal delivery on this album. Justin Bean on drums, Brooks Wilson on lead and rhythm guitars, and Paps on bass, but Brooks did the bass on the recording. And it was written and recorded at 409 House in 2013, as I said, and was engineered and produced by Rich the Dungeon Master Scott. Mastered by Clark Eagling, and yeah, it's fucking incredible. Like, seriously, cannot recommend this enough. Like, every track on here, maddening aggression, like, fucking everything. It's just a fire-ass fucking death metal album, and if you're a fan of Bolt Thrower, you, you, you fucking need this in your life, because you are going to eat this up. So I, I know I did. As soon as I fucking heard this the first time, because I, I was reviewing Unrest Grindcore, and I had mentioned how Brooks Wilson was also in Crypt Sermon. And uh, I had no idea that he was in fucking Trench Rock. And I had no idea that this really existed outside of a review in Decibel a few years back that I vaguely remember. But as soon as I read that comment, I immediately checked them out and instantly fell in love. 
And yeah, this is Philly Death Metal up there with Piss Grave, Horrendous, fucking Gorophobia. Like, this is awesome shit. Like, if Philly was to have another, like, underground death fest, like they used to have the Hostile City Death Fest, I can definitely see Trench Rot headlining a day just because they're that fucking good. I don't know if they play live that often, but they did just do that four-way split in 2016, so I don't know. I mean, I think it's called Four Doors to Death or Four Doorways to Death. But like I said, I don't know off the top of my head. But again, just look at that artwork. It pretty much sums up what this album is. And it's pretty much taking stuff from the Necronomicon and mixing it with modernized warfare. And just coming up with, you know, yeah, some cool fucking... Like, nobody has, like, lyrics, like, they do have lyrics like this, but, like, part of it's, like, they were really into some their gothin and, like, Necronomicon, like, type of shit, like, especially on the title track, which is pretty much, like, all about Yog saloth I'm so sorry if I said that wrong, you know, I suck when it comes to that type of stuff, but, uh, it's all about like elder gods and like shit like that like called from the grave by an unholy spell a skeleton army rising from hell i really love the rhyme scheme here as well it's just a great fucking album everything about it and i'm not trying to be biased because they're from philadelphia or whatever this is some grade A fucking death metal. To me, this is a fucking 9.75 out of 10. Maybe even 10 out of 10. There's nothing wrong with this. Except for, you might say, it's, it's just another bolt thrower clone. But it's kind of not. Like I said, the lyrics are what makes this stand out from the rest. This is a very, very special release in my opinion. Like... It's just fucking magnificent. Like, you'll be singing along, you'll be headbanging. Fuck yeah, Trench Rock. And that's all I can say about that, man. And, you know, R.I.P. Chuck Schulinger. And if you have never heard Death Scream Bloody Gore for some reason, just stop watching right now and go listen to it and enjoy the shit out of it. Especially Baptized in Blood. That song's so fucking badass. And Evil Dead. Check out the Trench Rot version. And then check out the Death version. And then, yeah, you fucking win both ways. So, we were listening to Ascended Dead's new full length on Dark Descent Records. And yeah, it fucking rules. So, get into this shit. I'll put links below. And yeah, as usual, thanks for watching. Thanks for the constant support. I love you guys. I had a download card, but I do not see it. So I don't want to knock the camera over. So sorry, but hails.